Memberships allow you to create gated pieces of content and with Webflow memberships, we can create incredible experiences for your users. So before we even get started, why is it even important to cover memberships? Why do memberships even matter? In this video, we're gonna take a look at how you can create a Webflow membership site so that you can start creating gated experiences. Let's get into it. Let me show you this example here of a membership agency. So this is a new thing that's coming up in the design world. As a designer, it's super important to, to know about these things. This is an agency that works on a membership basis. So it's a subscription and it has a login, it has a sign up, everything you would expect from a simple membership. So this is something that we can build using Webflow memberships. Another example is if you had a client who wanted to build something like a course for their internal company, something along the lines of that, where it's a gated piece of content, that is where Webflow membership comes in. And that is the power of using something like Webflow to do that. So how does it even work? What even is a gated experience? Anytime you've had to log in to a platform, whether it was to create an account, anytime you've had to log into a platform, whether it was to change your settings, whether it was to upload a post, something like Instagram, Facebook, anything like that, that is a gated experience. So anything that you can do. So any website where you have to log in or sign up to be able to enjoy that actual website, that is considered a gated experience. And that is something that we can build using Webflow memberships. So let's get into it. So here in front of me, I have a very basic and very, very simple Webflow membership site that I just built. And it has a few different features. And we're gonna go into those individual features on how you can use it as well for your site. So we have a few different things here. Number one, we have enroll now or login. We have view courses, view courses, and then we have some extra content that I created so that it looks like a real site here. But apart from that, we have a few separate sections here. So we've got video collection, we've got video courses template, and then we have our user pages. So there's login, sign up, reset password, update, access to client, user account. All of that is included in the Webflow memberships. Now, it is important to note that Webflow memberships is currently still in beta, and we're gonna get into it later in the video why that matters. But for now, let's just take a look at what we can accomplish with the current features that they've given us. So if we go ahead and take a look at what this website looks like when we are practicing or when it when we wanna see what it looks like, we have our H1, our paragraph, enroll now, view courses. So if I wanted to view courses for this example, and I clicked on it, it would ask me to log in first, or if I didn't have an account, it would ask me to sign up. Now, I've obviously already created an account, and we can see here that when I log in, it allows me to then view the courses that I wanted to see. Now this is all example content, but what we've created for this example is something like a course, right? So if you wanted to upload courses to your audience, for example, for Flux or for anything like that, we could have done that with Webflow memberships. So we can create a gated experience for this type of content. Once we click on it, we can see actual information that we have here. For example, we have a video that we can play and this is fully playable, but this is just an example content here, and this is Lorem Ipsum. But, so what we can do here is that we can gate all this content behind a paywall, behind signing up, so you can collect emails, so that you can collect a monthly membership, and that is honestly a great thing to do in this case. So the way it works is that we have a few different pages, right? We have home, we have the video collection, so this is just a simple CMS, which we'll get into, collection list, and then we have the video courses template. So this is where you actually put in the content that you want people to be able to access behind that paywall or behind that gate. Then we have the video courses themselves. So these are just sample content here, but I've created a name, video, thumbnail, and then sample content for all five of these. So we've created five courses, but we could add in 30 if we wanted to, for example, right? Then we've got the users themselves, and this is the actual part that was gated for such a long time or was still in beta, but now we finally have access to it. So I've created one user here, and that's just me. And this is what you can see when you access this from the back, uh, the back side of it. So we've got the name of the user, has this person agreed to the privacy policy, has they, have they agreed to the marketing, or their password. So sometimes the user might say, hey, can you send me a password reset email because I don't know how to do it or something like that. This is where you'll be able to do that. So you can go ahead and click that right there and then you can send it. Then we have the different access groups that this person is allowed to see or allowed to access. And we're gonna take a look at this right here, but right now we can see that the access group that this person has access to is just a premium customer. 
Now, the reason this isn't free access group is because I haven't added a paywall, but we could add a paywall with a very simple e-commerce. But in this case, we're only gonna do it with a free one because it's easier for the example. So here we can see what the user is actually entitled to when they are a premium customer. We can see that they have access to two pages. So these two pages are gated behind that sign up, that login. So we've got the video courses template, so the CMS, and then the video collection. So that is just the, the overall list of videos, right? But the video themselves are also gated. So the user only gets access to this after they sign up and they agree to the emails and they agree to the marketing. And so it's like a regular sign up that you would do with Amazon or Facebook or anything like that. But in this case, we're just using Webflow. So a couple things to note here, we can edit what the sign up page looks like, what the login page look like, what the user account page looks like. And we can also change what the information that people have to upload actually looks like. So if we wanted to change the information that people had to upload to be able to log in or to sign up, we can do that right here. So we can add more custom fields here, like for example, their email number, for example, if they are signing up for a specific reason, like maybe they saw us on a blog or on YouTube or on some other type of platform, that is a great option to add here. So maybe you can say, uh, where did you find us? And then options here can be Facebook, maybe YouTube and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we can really develop this to be a very thorough sign up and login so that you understand where every single user is coming from. But for now, all we have here is email, name, and the password, obviously. Also, if they want to set them to marketing emails and also if they agree to the privacy policy pages. So these two pages here are the ones that are gated behind content. But if we wanted to change that, if we wanted to make this accessible to the entire public, we can go here into the settings and we can change this to public just like that. And if we are on the other side, so if this is public right here, and the way that we can make this only accessible to a few certain people that have signed up, we go to specific members only, choose access group, and then premium customer. So now we can see that this is only gonna be accessible if you are a premium customer, if you've signed up to our platform. Another thing that you can design in Webflow, which is great, is the access denied page. So if somebody sends a link of that piece of content that you have gated to someone else that doesn't have access to it, this is what they're gonna see unless they've signed in themselves. So access denied is a very important one that needs to be included when you design something because it's gonna be a very important part of your gated experience. So once you sign up, you will get an email saying something like, you have been invited or you've asked to sign up or something of that matter. And this is what that email will look like. Now you can edit this email and we're gonna do that right now. So, but you can see exactly what it says here. So Figma to Webflow, that's just what my website is called. You've been invited to Figma to Webflow. Please create an account, blah, 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 blah. Or you can use this link. So if we go ahead and click that link, It'll take us, I've already done that, but it'll take us to the sign up page. So we can see what that would look like here. So it would take us directly to this page and we go ahead and create our email. And we can go ahead and put in our email, our name, our password, all of that. But for now, we can see what we would do to edit that email. So in the settings here, we can go over to email and we can then design what the welcome email would be. So we can see that we have access to this and we can change the text, we can change the colors, maybe a brand logo, something like that. So if I wanted to make this black and this button right here, we can go ahead and do something like that. And now every time that someone signs up, they're gonna see this exact design. So that's pretty hideous. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to the white and black, but we can also change the name of the subject of the email. We can change what it actually says on the email themselves. But one of the things that we are still struggling to do in the beta, and maybe it will be improved later on when they create more, more features, is the actual thorough design of this email. Now we can do it if we have a few exceptions, but mostly we cannot design it to the full extent. So this is what you can achieve with Webflow memberships, adding a very simple sign up, maybe a login. We can create gated content, we can create paid content as well, which sits behind a paywall, and we can also have that be behind a Stripe payment. So people have to pay to be able to get access to that content. We can also put a CMS so people have access to this and obviously the content itself. So that is a very, very simple way to get into Webflow memberships. That's pretty much all you really need to get started and to be able to create those gated experiences that you wanna create. One thing to mention though, is that Webflow memberships is still in beta. So there's a couple of things that we need to cover there. 
Now, a couple things to keep in mind is that because Webflow memberships is still in beta, there is a chance that Webflow will delete all the content that you've created within the beta. But if you do wanna see what people have experienced with the Webflow beta, I recommend that you check out this tweet from Ran. It covers what a lot of people have experienced themselves and some of the factors to consider when you are gonna create your own website. Most people say that it's best to create a very simple, very basic membership site, and they wouldn't necessarily use it for the bigger, more important projects that they have in mind. With that being said, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I hope you learn how to create your own membership site. And if there's anything else you guys want me to cover, please leave it down in the comments. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.